In this video, you will learn about citation chaining, what it is, why it's helpful, and how to use citation chaining in your research. Citation chaining is a research strategy that can help you in finding additional relevant sources. This method works by tracing one source's references and citations to find more sources that may be applicable to your research. Essentially, you find sources that cite one another. This process creates a citation chain by linking each source to another and another. There are two different ways to citation chain, backward citation chaining and forward citation chaining. Backward citation chaining involves looking through an article's references to find more articles you may be able to use and cite in your own paper. Let's do a demonstration to explore this strategy. Suppose you find a paper that fits your research topic well, but you need to find more sources for your research you can use backward citation chaining to do so. Scroll down to the References section of the article and find a reference the author has cited that seems like it will fit your topic. Then, find the article and read it to see if it fits what you're looking for. A great way to track down the article is to search for it by title in Novanet. To do this, go to libraries.dal.ca, scroll down to search Library Resources, and simply type or paste the name of the article into the search bar and click Enter. If the article does turn out to be relevant, you can go further by browsing through the references of that article and finding more titles that sound like they might fit your topic. To find more citations, you can do the same thing over and over again with each article you read that fits your topic. You can also, of course, find more than one reference in each article to explore. One thing to keep in mind with backward citation chaining is that the further back you go, the older your citations will get. Make sure to check your assignment and see if your citations need to be recent. Forward citation chaining works a little differently. Rather than looking through an original article's references to find more sources, you will look to see what other more recent sources have cited your original article. A few things to keep in mind. Not all articles have been cited, particularly if they're very recent, and not all databases allow you to see how many times and where an article has been cited. Some major sources that do allow you to see who cited an article are Scopus, Google Scholar, JSTOR, PubMed, and Taylor & Francis Online. Each database has a slightly different way of showing this, so it's important to look around to find cited by, cross-reference, or something similar. Let's walk through an example of forward citation chaining. For this example, we will work in Google Scholar. First, enter the title of the article you want to use and click Enter. Let's use the article called Effect of Blue Light Reducing Eyeglasses on Critical Flicker Frequency. Once you have located the article, you can forward citation chain by just selecting the Cited By link underneath the article information. In this case, the article we're interested in has a link underneath that says Cited By 84. Once you click on that link, you'll get the list of all 84 articles that have cited this original one. You can continue to backward or forward citation chain with any of these articles. Some sources in Novanet also allow you to see their references and citations. If the source does have citations available, you'll see the word citations along the left-hand side of the page. Clicking this will take you to the citations at the bottom of the page. There, you can backward citation chain by selecting cited in this or forward citation chain by selecting citing this. One thing to note, Older articles will often have more sources that have cited them, as they've been around longer. While this does vary widely, it could be helpful to know, as you may have more success with forward citation chaining with older articles, and more success with backward citation chaining with newer articles. Keep in mind that citation chaining is just one of many research strategies that you can use. It's most useful after you have already done some keyword searching and identified some key articles. For more research strategies you may want to try, check out some of our other videos. You'll find a link in the description. Thanks for watching. For research guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, 
Check out the links in the description below.